Nigerians contributed over 21 million naira for Very Dark Man as he launched his non government organization. Okay, guys, Very Dark Man has just launched his NGO, and Nigerians just contributed a whooping 21 million naira for him for startup in just 24 hours after he launched it. I have um, 21 million 620,000 naira. Very dark man just launched his NGO where he, he launched a very fantastic initiative. I think one thing Nigerians need to understand is whether you love Very Dark Man or not, the guy is influential and not just influential, he has a lot of people backing him and supporting him. And most especially, Nigerians are supporting him massively. <laughs> He launched his non governmental organization where he will be embarking on Nigerian government schools where he will be employing workers and also reviving the Nigerian public schools and a whole lot of Nigerians are in support of him. He launched it and he dropped his account number and telling Nigerians to contribute for him to run this and in less than 24 hours, Nigerians has contributed a whooping 21 million naira for him. He also called out his friends Davido Kubanachi Freeze who have also responded telling him to drop his account details for massive transfers and hopefully this is going to be a massive project. I think Very Dark Man is on a path of greatness when it comes to Nigeria and a lot of people have to support him. Most of, most of us will not agree in all his patterns on how he approaches and launches a lot of things but one thing is for sure that the guy is out to deliver for the people and he has the people's interest at heart. Nigerians had contributed massively for this project and I just want you to hear what he had to say about it. Drop a comment below to think about it. Like and share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Alright, um... Barely 24 hours since I announced my NGO. If I tell you how much is in that account now, you will not believe. If I tell you how much did that account, you not go believe. First of all, um, shout out to all the people that have sent money. Shout out to all the people sending money. God will bless you. I mean, um, I saw the massive love and support when I started seeing amounts of amount like 72 naira, 100 naira, 22 naira, 15 naira, 500. To be very honest. With the total amount I've gotten, which I'll tell you the amounts now, the money where they contribute, the people where contribute passed, most of the money that was contributed was from 500 naira down. 500, 300, 200. Do you understand? It means say, most of these people don't really get, but they want support. The love is massive, bro. I can categorically say the biggest amounts that came into that account is this morning. 2 million naira and 1 million naira. Do you understand? I think counts the... 200,000 and the 100,000, you know, much. But the one where really make up this money, now 300, 100, naira, 200, even get one and say, Where well, boss my brain? <laughs> you get one where boss my, boss my brain, the caption boss my brain, make me laugh. The person say, The person say, The person said, 100 naira, I say, IJ, IJ, I love you because you decrease. 100 naira send. It's all love. Now, with the total amount I've gotten so far, to be honest, it made me realize that a lot of these NGOs are actually using hiding under NGOs to scam and to get a lot of money for themselves. I swear to God, this contribution just made me discover, say, most of them are scammers from all these celebrities where they get foundation, you understand? Yes, barely 24 hours. It opened my eyes to a lot of things. To a lot of things. How much have I gotten so far? As I speak to you now, I have um, 21 million 620,000 naira. As you can see, the money where the person even sent, now 400, 400 naira. 21 million 620,000, barely 24 hours. The truth is, I will make a lot of NGOs look bad. I will make them look bad. Do you understand? I will be posting all the amounts. If I use 10 naira, I'll show you people that I use 10 naira. It will urge the rest and it will force them to start being transparent. Do you understand? Yes, and anyone will know they transparent, people will come and say, Blessed, this one has come out. No wonder. These people will come post online saying, Somebody get kidney problem. The person is on top bed. Say the person need 10 million. People go gather, 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 gather. This MNG will come post next week or two weeks later. Say person need 15 million for, for another kidney problem. The money where you get, the extra money from this 10 million, why you not use that for that one where you need 15 million? If you contribute big money for all these NGOs in Nigeria, you contribute 10 million or 3 million for something. 
they will spend like that three million the remaining one they'll keep it for themselves not business this thing don't open my eyes a business all these people they use ngo do for this country business i will make it go look bad anyways um now for my own projects which all of you will see clean and clear I know the campaign I will never be a politician in this country. I'm not interested in it in any way. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, so we have to start putting good energy out there. And we have to start showing people the right way to do things. We have to start breaking all the ways, all the laws that's shitted with all these criminalities and corruption inside the government and the non-governmental district. We're going to open them, guy. We're going to open them. Now, my own project is simple. You understand? My own project is simple. It's to create a very good educational background to for children in public schools simple all these public schools they don't get young teachers again because everybody won't go where we so more they will make money nigeria hard so our educational educational sector is lacking especially in the public schools there's nothing fun about the public schools again so when you give them good teachers young teachers that they will look up to that will teach them well with the current way things is going on like this ai thing you know education not supposed to advance past waiting that they teach us that time introduce tech to the schools you know teach them with projectors even if they're like two class get projector they'll carry them for general knowledge you know teach them about getting the importance of getting handwork Nobody, everybody go go school. The one way no sharp, me go learn and walk. You know, break them in section, teach them games. The one way if you say this one go sabi go be good actor, you carry them go inside that skill. Maybe they learn acting. You know, I be advance their acting skills. From primary schools, more they get all these things, so that you give them this orientation when they don't enter secondary school, then they'll start to be think about okay, yes, yeah, this is what I learned in my primary school. Should I go and develop this skill? You know, create fun things for them. Maybe they prepare for cultural day. Now they don't do cultural day again for public schools. In no day again, they don't get big events. Now only private schools get down. Now private schools now everybody don't. And most of these people going into the private school. Now people will cash out from public schools. Now they use the hands scatter public schools so that they will feel the chop from private sectors, from private schools. Yes, now now what they do now. Okay, the ones with experience, they'll go carry a headmaster, carry and go one private school, go use and do teacher. They used to collab with spoiler so that public school no get level again. Now them them. You understand? Not them them. Not them them. Anyways, so I don't get over 21 million and I'll still drop the account number. This is still the account number in case if you still want to show love and support. Don't worry. Your money is not going to bury that one's pocket and bigger than that, you know. Money not the move me, but people don't believe. People just are just the talk. But I'll show you people. I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> I'll show you Natete. <laughs> I will spoil my business. I saw the good. I'll spoil them. Peace and love. The account number is still there. Zenith Bank, uh, Martin Vincent Hotel Initiative. Any amount that you like, if you send 10 naira, 20 naira, nobody cares. If you like, send 2 naira, you still know me now. Your mind will take the one. Very appreciated. Peace and love. Don't play. Else you're going to learn and you will learn the hard way. All right, so guys, please. I need you guys to listen to me for a few minutes. This is important to me and I believe it will be beneficial to a lot of people. The comment section will be open so that I can see some encouragement and get some ideas as well. Now, we can all agree that the educational foundation of a child will determine what the child will be tomorrow educational foundation is very very important now this is the reason why a lot of people put their kids in private primary schools for startup now how about the people that cannot afford to put their kids in a private school that is where the public school come in but here's the problem with the public school the public schools are no longer interesting because these public schools have old teachers Teachers that are very old are supposed to retire, big belly uncle and big belly aunties. Unlike our time, when we had like um, coppers, when they finish like their university, they come and teach us back then. You know, in our public school, we had like really young uncle who could vibe to them. There were a lot of games, you know, in the school, PHE, like, you know, when they come, cultural day and all that. But these public schools are now lacking all this because the young people don't longer want to go to the public schools and the primary school to teach. One, because the government don't pay them well. The government don't pay them well at all, which is causing a lot of problems for these kids that are in the rural area. They don't have a very good background for education. And it's not even interesting for them to go to school. 
the only interesting part about public school now is the playground you understand and because they don't have like role models like a young role models to look up to in the public schools now they just look for one big guy you know that one will just be their role model and next thing they, are, they, they introduce them to courtism and it's a problem so the public school education is lacking now the government is not going to do anything about that quite all right but we as people can do something about it right now i came up with this idea yesterday and i said oh yes i need people to help me fund this idea right now what do i want to do i want to make the public schools interesting give or take every public school i'll start with abuja a lot of public schools in abuja i will be moving some coppers to those schools now we all know there's no job in nigeria so a lot of coppers finish school a lot of them leave their profession leave what they studied in school they'll start selling bed sheets start doing pos you know yes that's what a lot of coppers there's no job in nigeria so um what i want to do is this is simple it's a win-win for all of us i will employ coppers right i will employ coppers really sharp coppers coppers with ideas to start teaching in a lot of public schools we'll have projectors in the school PhD teacher that will teach them drama that will make the school interesting for them so that all these children in the rural areas who want to study studying will be exciting to them studying will be really exciting to them now i cannot afford to pay coppers do you understand but collectively if you people give me money i can do it now i have opened my own ngo right i've opened my own ngo i have a lot of things to do with my ngo like bringing water to communities and all that but it is time to start fixing these problems gradually so that it will, if you, when you bring a solution it will help everybody i don't want to be all those ngos that will go to makoko and go and give them rights today make one video and just get out do you understand i want to make the government look bad i want to make every other ngos in nigeria look bad now i will give you my account number of my ngo any money that is being put in the NGO, I will publicize the whole amount. Everything will be out there for people to see. If I remove 10 naira, you see. I will update you on whatever thing they are doing. I don't want to eat one naira from this money. We have to help ourselves. Do you understand? And education is the key. I didn't really go to school, but my primary school was very great. I went to Pilon Science Primary School in Guagualada. It was very, very great because the teachers were young. We are not going to put out the big belly teachers out of work in primary schools. We'll use their own experience, join it together with the youth, do you understand, in the public schools to help teach these kids. Do you understand? So what I'm trying to achieve is this. I'll give the account number, you send the money. All those people where they promised me money, oh, very dark man, send, send your account number in my DM. God so kind, I've not sent your account number. Now is an opportunity to give very dark man money. So please, I need your money to fund a very big project. Like I said, this is to make the government look bad because they will not do anything. And to make every other NGO look bad. Now, every other NGO in Nigeria can categorically tell you that most of them are using NGOs to cash out. People contribute as much as 3 million, 5 million, 10 million, 15 million, 20 million, 30 million. These people will come out, if you contribute like 30 million, they'll spend like 1 million and they'll keep the other money for themselves. Just like those Black Lives Matters people. NGO is not what you people see it to be in Nigeria. But I'm about to make all of them look bad. So please, this is my account number. Um, it's Zenith Bank, 131-367908. The name of their account is Martin Vincent Ote Initiative. It is here. Be careful of scammers. You understand? Be careful of scammers. Please, Zenith Bank, look at the account name. Make sure you look at the account name before you send anything. Now, unlike your pastors in Nigeria, I am not giving you a specific amount. You can decide to send 10 Naira. It will be appreciated. You can decide to send 100 Naira. It will be appreciated. Anything you decide to send, it will be appreciated. Do you understand? Uh -huh. I don't need to say bring 10%. That's it for signing. But I promise you, you guys will see changes in Nigeria very soon. Lastly, I would like to say I am not a politician. I never want to be a politician in Nigeria. I don't care about it at all. Do you understand? But it's about, okay, it is time for us to start doing things if the government will not do it for us. So please help me fund this project. And if you do so, may God bless you. I don't know how to pray, but I would have prayed for you. I don't go to church. I don't do nothing. I don't pray. So I'm sorry, but God will bless you if you do so.
And if you don't do so too, God will still bless you. Thank you very much. Peace and love. Don't play.